So if you see my other videos on the Cubine 9, you've probably seen that I was searching for a Type-C hub that's going to allow me to fully charge the tablet and have USB ports on there, hopefully USB 3 and display out. Now I'm going to try again. This is going to be, I think, my third time trying. And this is going to be the last time I'm going to try and attempt this because I tried the Dell Type-C dock and that didn't actually give me any display out. But it, it charged at a phenomenal rate of about 14, 15 watts, which is really good. So I picked up a few things here from Amazon, and this is the iVolva, I think, however you pronounce it, power uh, supply that can output Type-C to Type-C and up to 60 watts. So it can charge things like the, the MacBook Air, the 2015 model, and it can also charge things like the Pixel C. I'm hoping this will allow me to be able to charge. Now I've got a cable here that is Type-C to Type-C and I've also picked up a AU key, I think that's how you pronounce it, Type-C dock, which I'll show you. So this one here is actually 75 watts in total, I think. Someone pointed this out to me on the techtablets.com forum. So we've got the uh, figure eight style plug and smart charger. So there's output 2.5 amps if I remember off the top of my head correctly and there's our charging type C so this is this is the port I want to hopefully work so I bought a cable which I'm hoping again that it's going to be able to keep up with the current and charge this is a uh, Cho Choi Tech premium USB-C cable so it's USB type C to type C and I think it's reasonably long, but it's it's saying the compatibility. Can you see there if the camera will focus that it's supporting a, a lot of devices there. So the the Chromebook Pixel, Apple MacBook, and you see the cable there. It doesn't look too bad. The quality of that seems okay to me. So Type C to Type C, and finally the the main part, the key ingredient to all of it will be this right here, which is an AU key. Hub. Now, AUK actually contacted, contacted me and said, would I like to review this? And I said, yes, I would like to try it. And they were going to send me one, and then they just went all quiet. So thank you very much. I had to go and buy this one myself. Not that I'm complaining, but you know, don't offer to send me one and then suddenly bail out when you realize I'm living in Europe and you have to post it from US or wherever. Okay, let's see if I can get into this. So this hub is really the key to the whole thing if it's going to work properly and allow me to output HDMI correctly. So let's have a quick look at it. It does have a status LED there. There's the Type-C. Full-size HDMI and the input. So that's Type-C, type of course, for charging there. And two USB 3 ports on that side and another two on the right side. So four USB 3 ports. So I'm now going to plug it all in, plug it into my QBY9 and see if it works. Okay, so I can report that it is actually working. I have display out that HDMI is running my monitor now at 1440p, 60 hertz. There's no flicker, there's no problems. It seems stable for now. I've only been testing just for about five minutes or so. And I've plugged in my USB Extreme flash drive here. I've been able to transfer files onto my desktop on my QBY9. And that's given me 200 read speeds, transfer speeds. So that's good. So it's definitely working the USB 3 ports. And the main thing, is it charging? Yes, it is charging, but only just. It's fluctuating. At the moment, it's charging at about 5 watts, according to battery bar here. So that's, again, I'll try and get the camera to focus on that. Uh, 5 watts. Now, when I plugged in the USB drive, it was at 8 watts. So as soon as I plugged in the USB drive, obviously running more uh, external hard drives and things like that is going to take have an impact on the, the charging rate there. I think the problem is my Choltec cable probably is too long, so I'm, I'm losing some of that current because the length of the cable seems to be about, a, I think it's about a meter or so. So you probably want a different Type-C to Type-C cable. Something that's a lot shorter, I would imagine, would be better. But so far, so good. I do have my one cable docking solution, which is what I wanted with a Type-C, USB Type-C 3.1, is to be able to just pick up my, my tablet here, go downstairs, come back up, and just plug it in, 
and have it start to charge and then run my desktop so I can use it as a desktop too. So the, the components you need to do this is an AU Tech hub, the Type-C hub there with the four USB 3 ports on it, and the main component probably would be this, which is the iVolver 75 watt or 60 watt Type-C charger. This is outputting, and the cable is a Choltec, but as just mentioned, probably get it'd be better to get a shorter cable or a better quality one. Thanks for watching this video here. Hopefully we see some more high output type C hubs coming out in the near future because it's relatively new tech and that, the, the dock I tried from Dell obviously just works really more on Dell products so that's why I ran into problems here but good to see that this is finally working for me personally now I have a solution. So hopefully we'll see you back in the channel soon. Bye for now.